Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and today I'm going to show you how to mix and match your charms to create many different fun ways of wearing your uh, Pandora Rose bangle. So what I have right now is just a plain Pandora bangle. Um, the first way that I wear this is just by itself. I really like to stack it together with my other Pandora bracelets. So I play around with different colors. I play around with different texture. And really, it's all up to you how you want to wear it. But if you're looking for some inspiration, then um, just keep on watching. So I already have um, my other Pandora bangles. So I have this another um, open bangle in silver that has easy stones in the end. I have this bangle that has a uh, rose clasp and of course my Pandora rose open bangle so as you can see i don't really need to do anything extra special but by stacking them all together and experiment with different colors different textures um it will blend really nicely together and it will create the kind of look that you are going for so i am a minimalist i don't really want like too much charms on my bracelet but it doesn't mean that i cannot um create you know fun ways of wearing this so that's the first one uh, that's the first style mm, that i wear it another one would be if i just do a little bit of variation if i just place this stopper it comes with here near the ball end as you can see that's what i'm doing right now so this creates this little stopper adds uh, a styling to the balls so that's another way by which you can wear this so let's try this on and see how it looks again it looks really pretty i will just try to put this here in the center kind of like to give it a little balance so as you can see it adds a style by just placing your stopper here near the ball end Another way by which I wear this is to experiment, like, like I said, with different colors. So I am going to add a stopper and I'm going to place it here near the end as well. And this will give my bracelet a two-tone appearance. So again, I'm not really doing anything extra fancy. All I'm doing is just adding this... Um, stopper in there and i got this from amazon this is really a good buy i think a pair of stopper a pair of stoppers cost maybe around ten dollars and it also has a silicone ring um, inside it so it also prevents um, the charm from sliding off your bangle so as you can see i'm not really doing anything special but i'm playing around with different colors and this gives this a bangle a two-tone appearance so again this will all blend nicely uh, with the kind of look that I already have here with my other bracelets so really really pretty another fun way of wearing this is um, if you have a charm that has uh, a nice sparkle you can also add it in and it will uh, produce uh, a good contrast and will give this a different style which is what I'm going to do in a moment. So I am going to add a spacer and I'm, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to place it here near the end. And this spacer that I have is called, I think Pandora Inspiration Within Spacer. You really cannot see it clearly, but um, you have that pink ZZs in there. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing on the other hand let me where is that okay here so as you can see by playing around with different textures um, you can create many different looks okay so again nothing super special just a little bit of sparkle not over the top again gives it a different twist so let's try it on so as you can see, the sparkle that I have here from this um, spacer goes well together with the other 
um, the other ZZ stones here on the other bracelet. So they kind of like blend well together, as you can see, gives this balance. And I really like this look. It looks really pretty. So that's another way of wearing this Pandora Rose. And um, again, like I said, just try to play around with different textures, different colors, a uh, little bit of variation, but make sure that um, there is symmetry because I think symmetry is the key in styling, um, you know, your bangle so it will look nice. So I'm doing the same thing here on the other end, but this time I am using a very sparkly uh, charm. This is called Pandora Rose Pave Lights Charm. So uh, you can see that this is really sparkly. And for as long as there's not much difference between the size of the bolt, um, to me it looks like um, it, it's part of the design. So it really blends nicely with the ball end. Okay, so let me put this back and let's see how it looks like. Alrighty, so this is how it looks like. See how nice, how sophisticated this little plain bangle becomes if you put something sparkly in there. Mm -hmm. This looks like just, you know, a single bracelet um, because the plainness of the bowl go well together with you know the the sparkles of the other charm and it like looks really really nice really pretty really beautiful so let's try it on as you can see it gives a little more sophistication in there makes it a little sophisticated so it's really good okay so those are the ways by which i style my um bangle and so now what i'm gonna do is i am going to um, kind of like add something in the middle um when you wear this bangle sometimes it tends to roll on your wrist so you want to make sure that you know there is something um here on, in the center in case it rolls all right so I am gonna try to put something that is dangling in there. So a dangle um, charm. And I'm gonna make it a two-tone charm. So I'm gonna use the this one here. The, the rose stopper. Huh. And um, it really depends on you, like how you want to wear this. So I am going just to do the same thing. I'm just going to retain that same effect that I had earlier. Okay, let me put this back. Okay, let's try it in the other side. Okay, let's see. Um, how it looks like all right so this is how it looks like again um, just a little bit of color variation in there this little silver um, stopper adds to the design and then over here I have this dangle heart charm and um, you know some people would like to wear it this way with the balls facing this way so then you know the other side of your wrist will have something dangling like this one here so it looks really pretty it acts kind of like more of like a pendant type or sometimes this tends to roll especially if um, it's a little big on your wrist so you can either wear it this way if it rolls so at least you still have a little style there Okay, so um, really, it really depends on you how you style it. Nobody tells you what is um, the best way of styling your, your bangles because let your personality uh, shine in the way you wear this. But, you know, this is kind of like how I do mine. Okay, 
so or I can actually um, not have to I want it to have, the, have a little space in there so if I want it to kind of like move around then then it yeah it does move around a little bit all right so this is another way to wear it okay so another way I wear this is by creating kind of like a two-tone effect um, and this is already two-tone but you know like the traditional way by which I see most people wear this is by placing all the charms here in the center and that is what I am going to show you in a moment again it depends on the kind of look you're going for if you want it to be a two-tone then you can vary you know the kind of charms you put in there but if you want it to be a true rose then you can put all rose color charms so um what i'm gonna do is i'm go going to just try to make this look like a two-tone bracelet and really you know it's worth to invest in kind of like a pair of special charms because there are so many ways by which you can mix and match this um okay so i am going to place this heart charm in there it's silver in color it also has zz stones it's really sparkly really nice and i am going to place it in the middle and the kind of style i'm going for is just a simple balanced look i don't want it to be over the top for me the more simple the more classic the more elegant the better so that's kind of like how this looks like so that's one of the ways I wear this. So see here, just a little variation in there makes this center um, uh, charm pops. So really nice, really good. Okay, not over the top. They are all very sparkly together, but but then again, it gives it um, an even even appearance. So that's one way. Another way by which you can wear this is by making it a true two-tone, I'm sorry, a true rose um, bangle. Okay, so I can maybe place two charms or maybe five charms in there. Um, it really doesn't matter for as long as I know how to um, put a little bit of symmetry in there. So I'm going to show you both. So I can put like three uh, rose charms there and like I said you may want to experiment with different styles with different um, texture different variations so what I have here is um, a rose another rose charm I think this is called uh, Pandora rose um, daisy open warp charm so as you can see I have flowers there and you have a pink enamel it really looks pretty so it doesn't have bling it doesn't have um, ZZ stones but it looks pretty by itself um, the, the combination of those you know white and uh, pink flowers make this charm stand out so I really really love this charm so again um, just a little bit of variation makes a huge difference so love the look love this look another way by which i can play around with these charms is try to put all the other rose charms that i have um for as long as they are kind of like um same in shape so this is kind of like at, the, at least round in shape um i'm going to put the heart shape charm in the center and this will make it my accent charm I'm going to put another round thing in there, another round um, charm, and put the stopper back, okay, and put the other, put the ball in the end, okay, can put the other one. All right, so as you can see, I have five charms in there. Um, they're all different, but then these two, you know, identical 
terms give it balance. So although these three are all different, um, they are the same in a sense that they are more or less the same shape. But the one that is different, the one that that stands out would be this heart. So I decided to place this heart in the center. So even though I have different charms in there, they all look together. There is a little bit of variation, but there is also symmetry. So that's what I'm going for. That's the kind of look I'm going for. Let's try this on. All right, so it looks really pretty. It looks really classy. Okay, I can just wear it by itself and I'll be fine because there's already so many charms in there. There's already too much charm. So maybe I can wear it together with this other single loan, you know, just this one here. But yep. So again, it, it, it depends on you, like how you want to wear your bracelet. You want to wear it any, and you know, however you want it. Nobody can stop you from, you know, styling it. But again, this is just another way of giving you an idea how I wear mine okay so that's how it looks like and um, yeah I mean I can go on and on and kind of like mix and match you know all of my charms but um, like I said the, 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 the rule that I follow is for as long as you can create you know balance and symmetry then it will make it really nice and stunning so um do you have um a rule that you follow in styling your bangles um if you do um i'd like to know about them you are free to uh, drop your comments down below um let me know um how you wear your bangle and i'll see you again in my next video now if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already don't forget to hit um, like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again in my next video. Bye!